Today we're going to be creating a custom Hormozy GPT which is a new open AI feature and I'm going to be showing you A to Z how to set it up, how to get knowledge from your favorite source and how to integrate that into your own GPT. So let's jump right into it. All right, so first things first, we're going to go to chat.openai.com. This is going to load up ChatGPT. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to hit explore up here and you're going to create a new GPT. Now in this tab, you have the create and you have the configure tab. Now, if you simply want to tell GPT builder what you want, so you can say, for example, I want an Alex Ramosi GPT, which gives knowledge on um, building gyms uh, to, to, or taking gyms to the next level, then you can write that here. For In this case, we're going to configure this and we're going to do it ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to call it Hormozy GPT. We're going to add in a short description. Um, I am here to help you scale your business and make it more efficient. We are then going to think of a prompt, which in this case, we're going to keep very simple. As I said, feel free to use the create feature and it's going to fill, fill out all of this out for you. In this case, we're just going to say you are Alex Hormozy and your goal is to help people scale their business and make it more efficient. We're going to be adding in some of Hormozy's knowledge. So we're going to say you have access to a wealth of knowledge, which Hormozy has shared in his podcasts and relay that to the user. That should be simple enough, but you can get much more deeper, much more complex with all of this. Now, conversation starters, these are going to be the things that pop up down here, which could be, I run a gym in Canada. What are some strategies I can use to scale? What are some, so we're going to make sure it fits, fits in the field down here. What are some scaling strategies? Um, how can, how can I make my business more efficient? How can I hire people effectively? And what's a good way to 10 X my revenue. So those are some examples and they're going to be down here, which is going to be preset templates, which you can, um, which you can set in. So in this case, we're just going to do our own gym where some scaling strategies. Now we move down here and this is where it gets interesting. We have knowledge where we can upload files. We have actions and we have capabilities such as web browsing, image generation, etc. Now in this case with Ramosi GPT, we won't really need image generation and we won't really need web browsing. Um, so we're going to turn off those ca capabilities, but what we're going to need is knowledge, which is going to allow us to retrieve information from Alex's most recent podcast. So let's look into that. So what we are going to do in this case is we're going to find an Alex Hormozy podcast and we are going to get out some transcripts in this case. So we'll take out this one, the secret to getting rich and controversial truths about lives. The next thing we're going to do is go to YouTube transcript.com. And what we're going to do is we're simply going to paste in one URL after the other, and this is going to allow us to get the transcript. You then simply hit copy entire transcript and paste that into a text or a word document. All right. Now that we have all of those files, what we're going to do is we're going to upload these files into the knowledge. We're going to take Hermosi one, two, three. We're going to simply upload these files and they're going to be processing into ChatGPT, which is going to allow it to source knowledge from these different files. Now, an important thing to note is you also need to add a profile picture right here. Unfortunately, since it is still a beta version right now, the upload photo feature doesn't work. So what we're just going to use is we're going to use Dali engines to make a profile picture for this. Hopefully very soon it's going to be working again. Seems that yesterday it was working just fine, but now there's a bug with that. Um, but that is basically how, how you set it up. So we're just going to wait for that to load. Now there's a couple more things, which is that you can add actions, which is going to allow you to add open AI schemas. You, you can uh, get 
on OpenAI profile, weather data, um, do all kinds of different things with APIs, which is going to allow you to execute custom actions, as well as additional settings, which is going to use conversation data in your GPT to improve um, OpenAI's models. For now, we're not going to add any actions and we're going to leave this blank. And now that we have this image generated, we're simply going to hit save. And for now, we're going to do only me. And now we have our own Hormozy GPT. So we can say, what are some valuable or actually we're going to use one of these how can i make my business more efficient it's going to be analyzing and it's going to find out all the information that we need from the document so what you can see also down here if you use the drop down you can see that there are files being read and it's going to analyze all of that information and then it's going to give us back um, some information the file contains rich information focus on high value activities, streamlined processes, all of this. Now, if you don't want it to say the file contains rich information, you simply need to prompt that so you can tell it, do not mention the files that you are provided. You simply possess that knowledge. So that is something that you can do as well. And that is how you build a GPT from A to Z. In this case with Hermosi, I showed you how to upload the files. I showed you how to retrieve knowledge from YouTube videos, but you can use anything. You can use books, whatever the case may be. You can upload custom knowledge and you can create lawyers, accountants, whatever the case may be for your specific use case. I hope you found value in this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel and join our free resource hub in the description down below.